capitalism, you know, is the system we've basically had for the last three or four centuries. Started in England, uh, back in the 17th, 18th century, spread to Western Europe, and from there, slowly covered the whole world. So we've had several centuries of experience. We know what it looks like in Europe. We know what it looks like now in Asia, in North America, in Africa. We have a broad sense of an economic system that has shown us how it works. And one of the most remarkable things about it is that it has built into it a level of instability so disturbing, so disruptive of life that it leaves you, if you're willing to look at it, wondering how it could even survive as long as it has. If you lived with a person as unstable as capitalism, you would have moved out long ago. What is going on? Every four to seven years, wherever capitalism settles, it crashes. It has a depression, a recession, a downturn, uh, an explosion, a bust. Uh, the words we have are endless because the reality never goes away. Suddenly, large numbers of people lose their job for no reason that anyone can figure out. We need what they were producing. We suffer because we don't have it anymore, but we throw them out of work. We destroy the businesses they've built up in large numbers. There's a crash. People suffer two, three years. Then slowly the economy picks up again. We have a period we call a boom, and we're all waiting for what always comes, the next bust. This is a crazy system, and it has turned masses of people against capitalism from the beginning, which meant that if the system survived, it had to cope with its very instability, turning people off about it. So capitalists have tried, oh, have they tried, for centuries to stop, to overcome, to end the instability, and they have failed literally sitting, looking at the rest of 2022 and 2023, the only debate in the financial press is not whether the next recession comes, it's just, as always, when. How bad will it be? How long will it last? And when is it coming? Why, after the other instability, the inflation went too far, too fast, immiserated large numbers of people. This is a system that lurches back and forth from one disastrous situation to another. And yet it has, as its ideological leadership, people whose job it is not to focus on the problem of a system that's cyclically unstable in this way, but only on the details of how do we deal with this one? How soon do we try this policy? Maybe we should raise interest rates. Maybe the government should raise taxes. We always discuss how to fix what is a terminally broken system. And of course, when you're in the 21st century, you're coming at the end of a long sequence of events, and now it's harder and harder to fix it, and we are in a situation of collapse. The problem is clear. We're working on the solutions. Go deeper on our channel, on social media, and reach out to help us build the change you want to see in the world. Subscribe to our Patreon for early access to our full episode with Professor Richard Wolf. Coming soon.